What can we change on the arrow reveal hover blurb? So we can change the link, uh, we can change the arrow, and we can change the background triangle color. Of course, we can change the text color here if we want and change all the text. So let's go and have a look. Let's change a few things. So let's go. Um, so service one, uh, service, 20 we can call it so you can change that of course the title uh, then you can add a link uh, we can just add a google.com link as a test so we can show you how that works and then paste it open in a new tab that's cool uh, if you want to change this uh, icon and the color you have to open the psd there's no other way to do it or you have to upload your own icon there just make sure that it is a png and that the background is see-through uh, let's go a bit further nothing there design let's have a look here's the purple color we want to change that one for sure i'm just going to use a bright green i already have it saved here in my document let's copy that switch back paste the color there we go and that's everything for this design tab under advanced we can just have a quick look nothing there so let's save an update then we can take a quick look and see what we've got and then we can go and change the rest of the item so you can see that title has changed to green uh, the background arrow is still gray uh, background triangle is still gray uh, and the arrow we need to change the color on that the link however is working as you can see perfect uh, so let's see how to change the triangle and the arrow for that we need to go to the master CSS color changer file we've labeled them out here so we've got the arrow reveal hover blurb let's change the color of the arrow there it is Let's change that to the green as well. Um, let's just copy that. I'm just going to update it in this document here and then we're going to copy and paste it into the custom CSS. So for the triangle background, we want to have a light color. I'm just going to grab this mint green color here. And there's the triangle. And then we're going to edit this over here. There we go. And then what we can do is we can just copy this CSS rule and then we want to paste it into this custom CSS box. That's the one. We've got a second one we need to paste as well. And we're not changing the circle color. You want to experiment with that when you do it. I'm just going to keep it simple, but you know where to change it in any event. Let's paste that in. Let's click save. Let's update. And let's reload the page. And now we should have a green background and a green arrow. That's how you update this module. And you would do the rest for these items over here. And we are all set. Thanks for watching. Ciao.